the Kashmir Giants of India, the Delhi Durbar of 1903. And these are the exact images of them. You can see the difference in height. Look at their feet, their hands. And later you'll have the Patagonia Giants drawings when the explorers of the New World found the Patagonia Giants. And they seem to be just about the same height as these uh, Kashmir Giants. Now, one of the Kashmir Giants was 7 foot 9 inches tall. That's 2.36 meters. While the shorter one was a mere 7 foot 4 inches tall, 2.23 meters. And according to various sources, they were indeed twin brothers. In 1903, a grand ceremonial event known as the Dubar was held in Delhi, India to commemorate King Edward VII, later known as the Duke of Windsor, accession to the throne. This monarch was also given the title of Emperor of India and was the great grandfather of the recently demised British monarch Queen Elizabeth II. Lord Curzon, and then Viceroy, the then Viceroy of India, was the one who initiated and executed the Delhi Durbar. The original plan was to have the king come to India to perform the coronation ritual. However, the king denied the offer and showed no interest in traveling there. Therefore, Lord Curzon had to come up with something to put on a show for people in Delhi, and it was then that everything got started. The Delhi Dubar of 1903. The coronation ceremony took nearly two years to plan and began on December 29, 1902. It began with a grand procession of elephants through the streets of Delhi. The ceremony was attended by esteemed Indian kings and princesses. The Duke of Connaught was chosen to represent the British royal family in this important event. The Delhi Durbar, which was set on a large plain outside the city, began on January 1st, 1903, as the inauguration ceremonies had concluded. This gathering was meant to emphasize the grandeur of the British monarchy and the vastness of the British Empire. Moreover, it also showcased the precious gems that were rare to be seen altogether in one place. The Indian princes and kings were captivated by the appearance of these precious jewels, Kurzan joined the festivities with a group of Indian kings riding on elephants. However, the most impressive sight was still to be seen. Despite the elephants being adorned with golden candelabras on their tusks to impress the guests and spectators, it was the two giant guards that stole all the attention. At the Durbar, two exceptionally tall men were accompanied by the king of Jammu and Kashmir. It was evident that they were the tallest people alive at the time. The two Kashmir giants, they captured the full attention of the crowd and as they were quite a sight to behold, one of the Kashmir giants stood at an impressive feet of five, seven foot nine, while the other giant measured seven foot four inches in height. And according to reliable sources, these extraordinary individuals were in fact twin brothers. Now, the towering figures of these two remarkable individuals, I can imagine the poor mother when she was carrying pregnant with these twins. They must have been huge babies. Now, the towering figures of these two remarkable individuals from Kashmir made a striking impact at the Durbar. These extraordinary men were not only highly skilled riflemen, but also devoted their lives to serving their king. Ordinarily hailing from a location called Bal Mankand, their birthplace remained undocumented due to the possibility of the name being altered over the span of a century or longer. The brothers brought with them a variety of weapons such as spears, maces, matchlocks, and even had grenades to the Dubar. It was clear they were ready for whatever might come their way in order to safeguard their king no matter what. Each group of attendees at the event was held was led by an elephant, and the king had his bodyguards walking on either side. Their widespread fame. The group of journalists and photographers from different countries who gathered for the Durbar were uh, equally fascinated by these Kashmir giants. One can only fathom the tremendous impact they must have had in 1903. Their presence played a significant role in establishing the King of Kashmir's fame worldwide. In February 1903, 
the Brisbane Courier, an Australian publication, published an article titled The Retinue of the Ruler of Kashmir Included a Fine de Detachment of Kerasayers and a Huge Giant. This article specifically spotlighted two enormous individuals known as Kashmir Giants who played the roles of guardsmen and servicemen for the ruler of Jammu and Kashmir. An American traveler photographer named James Rickleton was particularly fascinated by these Kashmir giants, capturing their images with great enthusiasm. And in the photographs, Rickleton appeared significantly shorter compared to the smaller of the two giants, as his head does not even reach their chest. Photogra photographers James Rickleton and George Rose embarked on a journey to Kashmir with the aim of capturing more photographs of these extraordinary gi uh, Kashmir giants, and among their collection was a striking image depicting a comparison between the tallest giant and the shortest dwarf, showcasing a stark contrast in their heights. Interestingly, Rickleton was also present in the picture to illustrate a sense of hierarchy. The unusual height difference. Encountering individuals who are taller than seven feet is very rare. To be precise, there are just 2,800 individuals worldwide who surpass this height, and a mere 14.5% of the U.S. population reaches or exceeds six foot. And uh, the occurrence of women who are six feet or taller in the U.S. is only 1%. I'm five foot nine. Now, as, uh, just as a matter of information, as of now, the average height for men worldwide is about five foot nine, while for women it's five foot five. That's average height. After reading about the Kashmir Giants of India, the Delhi Durbar of 1903, uh, you may be interested to know that even U.S. forces in Afghanistan claim they had sighted uh, the giant of Kandahar. Uh, this is on Mysteries Unsolved. I hope you found this interesting. This is by staff writer. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.